So yeah, we are uh, pretty much ready to go into New Game Plus. I'm gonna go grab the crafting kit here, I think. I don't think I got it yet. Crafting kit, does she have the crafting kit? She does, bam. All right, I think we're good to go then. Do I need to buy anything? I don't think I need to buy anything. I'm not using a second weapon. Got my armor set, we're good. Let's go. Journey two. So we're pretty much doing the normal route. Crafted Scion, uh, Soldier Godric, Ulcerated Tree Spirit to start. Then we're going to go to Weeping Peninsula. I need to pick up a lot of raw fruit, though, so I can buy, um, or make, rather, this Roa Raisin. Because I do not want to waste my flasks on torrents. Also, I probably should get more flasks. Zero Golden Seeds. Okay, so I need another 18. Yikes. Uh oh, don't die. Do not want to die to this guy. Oh, that's where you gotta punish. You gotta punish the, the buff. Back here. Get back here. Hey, he's coming back. No, I'm scared. <laughs> I just, I'm so afraid to die to this guy. I don't want to. Because it wastes so much time if you do. Fishing Cyberpunk DLC, is that the first time you've done it? Alright, time to go fight Rick. This is plus 25, right? Yeah. I think I made it plus 25 before Godskin Duo. I wish I knew about these guys having Noble Slender Swords. I wonder if you can actually farm them for it. Because that would have been a much easier farm than what I did. Is this row fruit? Beautiful. Wait, do I not have a crafting kit? Oh, do you have to rebuy the crafting kit? Oh, that sucks. Or maybe you just can't craft when... Oh, because I'm close to these guys, probably. I mean, in combat. Sword? No. Yeah, like, all of these dudes have noble slender swords. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them do. It's crazy. And there's so many of them. I kind of didn't die in one hit well. All right, Rick. Good fight, Rick. I think the only reason he didn't die faster is because this is a fire weapon. No torrent here. No torrents in any dungeons. I wonder what the worst boss is going to be for horseback combat. I think Radon's going to be annoying. I don't think it's Radon's going to be the worst, but I think it's going to be annoying. Fire Giant I already did in New Game. Oh, my God. The Knight's Cavalries in the Snowfield might be the worst one, honestly. Those, that, that fight's gonna be awful. I'm not looking forward to it. I gotta remember, too, that all of the Ruins bosses can be fought on horse. Like, you wouldn't think they could, but they absolutely can be. I don't think ever jail bosses can be. Just trying to do spinning slash here. But did something just die? Oh, we killed a random dude outside. Nice. Good timing. Sick. So I don't think we're going to have a horseback boss until probably the Knight's Cavalry, or actually depending, hmm, yeah, probably Knight's Cav, Knight's Cav, Deathbird, and then we'll do Leonine after that, and then we'll do the rest of Weeping. Did I make a thing now? How many did that make? Is it just one per, yeah, one per row of fruit? That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping it'd be like five per row of fruit. Also, I don't know where any row of fruit is, but it's literally everywhere in Limgrave, so I'm not too worried about it. I just have to be a little more aware of it on this run. I'm gonna do this. Start with here. Birdly flower, I don't want that. Give me raw fruit. Stop. Next time with the seven stream streak. And 450 channel points. It's so weird that that's the, the number that they stuck with and that it doesn't change. Row of fruits. All right, dare will. I'm just gonna like mash Y on every single bush. 
Oh, raw fruit. I'm pretty sure you can use a horse in an ever jail, right? I've never tried. Okay, just making sure. Let me hit you, man. Come on. This is really annoying. This refuses to be hit. Bloodhound's Fang. I think our entry avatars are going to be really annoying, too. Oof. I think it's gonna be a lot of annoying open world bosses. Grow a fruit, nice. Ah, damn it. Trying to make more. I only made one. Hmm. I didn't get a Gaelic South? Are you kidding me? Hang on. Uh, yeah, I'll go get it. I meant to get I don't know how I forgot this. It might be faster actually to go from here. Ugh, that sucks. I thought I got it for some reason. I think I was just too busy grabbing Roa fruit. I want to kill this guy because he's going to... Okay, screw it. We're just going to go. Horribly inconvenient. Well, hey, another chance to grab some Roa fruit, I guess. I'm here. And here and here. It's not like it's that far. It's right here, I think, right? Is this right? Yeah. I guess I'll just uh, I'll rest here. Except, don't really have a choice, do I? All right, then we'll go back here. Still nighttime. Good. I feel like sometimes after you warp, I don't know. I don't know if it advances time or what, but it definitely. I think it. I think it might. Root resin. I use root resin for anything. Not this, probably. Sixteen. So you can only have thirty of these things. That's another interesting thing. I don't know why they. I guess. I mean. I guess it makes sense. It's like a cap for torrent, essentially. All right, nice cavalry. Grab this. Ooh, five. Beautiful. Oh, my God. It, it kind of does suck that you can't not craft in combat. Or can't craft in combat. We have 30 yet. 25. Does he get an AoE attack and I don't? Ooh, that was close. Of course that missed. <laughs> well, I actually hit, just the first part didn't. Take that. Wow, that takes a while to actually heal Torrent with that. <laughs> it's like three seconds. Ooh, the death rate birds might be bad. The damage is pretty good, though, and I don't know if that's a weapon or because of horseback combat or... It's just really annoying to try and hit. Stay alive, Torrent. I need you, buddy. Nice. Row of fruit there. Sacrificial axe. Pretty solid weapon. Very bad range, though. It is not a big axe. 
All right, Torin, this is where we part. Let's see, what do we want? We do more strength. I think uh, 53 is as high as I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to put this in my left hand, too, for uh, horseback combat. When you put it in your left hand, I think you can actually two-hand it on, uh, on Torrent. For some reason, you can't when it's in your right hand. I don't know why. If you try and two-hand, I think it uh, unequips it or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. I'll play around with it, though, when uh, we get through this. And since I'm two-handing it, it's like it doesn't matter because I'm going to still be able to use Spinning Slash. It's going to make one-handing much harder, though, which I wasn't really planning on doing. Not much harder. So when you, if you one-hand it in your left hand, you can't do uh, can't do the strong attack. I'm pretty sure, because you just get the Ash of War. Because I had the same problem when I did the Halo Scythe, because I used that in my left hand. Because Clean Rod Knights use it in their left hand. Or maybe I should just keep it in my right hand, and then I don't have to worry about it. Knights Cavalry, I'm pretty sure use their right hand. I think they always two-hand, anyways. Actually, you know what? Hmm, I gotta think about that. I'll put it back in the right for now, though. They honestly, I think they one hand. Although I think you one hand when you're on a horse by default. So, never mind. But I think you can't, you can't like re two hand if the weapon's in your right hand on a horse, but you can if it's in your left hand. It's really strange. This is great, it just staggered him with every hit. Alright, Impaler's Catacombs. So yeah, that's me two-handing, it just unequips it, but if you put it in your left hand... I have it on... Hmm... Okay, maybe not. Maybe I don't remember how it works. I love how it goes to your right hand, though, even if it's in your left hand. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just keep it here for now. Or grow a fruit. Oh, make all make all of them. All of them. Got to keep Doran alive. So open world boss is here. I think it's just the Earth Tree Avatar. Everything else is in a dungeon or the Everjail. But there'll be a fair amount in Limgrave. You got a Gale, you got the Tree Sentinel. Mad Pumpkinhead is in, uh, or like you can, uh, he's in the ruins, so you can use Torrent there. You got the Knight's Cavalry on the bridge. That could be annoying, just because it's such a narrow path. Then I gotta think about what else. Deathbird and the Bell Bearing Hunter. Ooh, the Bell Bearing Hunter. The Kaelid Bell Bearing Hunter. Oh no. Spinning Slash on the Imps, and then the Watchdog. Should be easy after that. Wait, I killed one, right? I think I killed one. Okay, don't bleed me. Did I not kill one? Well, I killed, I mean, I know I've killed one, I just don't know if I killed the one I thought I killed. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Insane poise. I just want to do more horseback combat, man. Got all these dungeons I gotta get through. Just one unweeping, just the one I said. Or tree avatar. Although that'll be after like the next two bosses. So that's coming up. I didn't actually get knocked down there. That's interesting. On that second hit, I did, but... Whoops. Oh, that sucks. Let me go. Oh, 
What? I was trying to run around and I failed. Yeah, if you get if you get charged while you're doing spinning slash, you don't actually fall down. It's interesting. You get knocked back, but you don't get knocked down. Wow, you are so tanky, Jesus! It's got to be the fire weapon in the water or something. I don't know. All right, scaly misbegotten. Oh, look at all the raw fruit here. My goodness, so much of it. Torrent's never gonna go hungry again. Let me craft, come on. Am I still aggroing stuff? Like, really? I am, like, so far in this tunnel. There we go. Only six? I only picked up six? How much, what can you hold? Like, 999 or whatever it is? Oh, 600, there's actually a limit. Below 999. I'm actually shocked. Maybe you should learn how to attack faster, brother. Look at this attack. Oh, it actually hit me. His attacks are slow as hell and he does no damage. All right, we got the Earth Tree Avatar. And then Cemetery Shade, Ancient Hero, and the Miranda Blossom. And then Weeping is done. Aurora Fruit, nice. Just what I like to see. This is like one of the very few runs I'm actually going to be using. Uh, <laughs> the the row fruit for um, whatever it is. Row a raisin. Oof. Oh, okay. I was going to say we better deal more than 200. Oh, instantly taken off the horse. Wow. That's not a good sign. Sandwich is really good. Well, it's also a fire weapon. That helps. Uh oh. So I think once I get to, what's it, 53 strength, I'm going to get more mind. Because I'm going to want to do more spinning slash on this run. Level up strength. So three more weeping bosses, then we'll go do the demi-human chief duo in limb grave, and then go to mad pumpkin head. I think a horse will actually make mad pumpkin head pretty simple. It should be pretty easy to get behind him. I'm trying to think of what other bosses that, like, uh, you can use Torn for that I wouldn't expect. Black Blade Kindred, oof. That's gonna be rough. I mean, I knew that you could, but I just it popped into my head just now. There is, hmm, two Falling Star Beasts. Which I also knew about, but. All right, Ancient Hero. I wonder how many bosses you actually can fight on a horse, though. Like, if you took a tally. I think we're at three right now. Row of fruit. Oh, more row of fruit. I miss one? No, I think we're good. So much row of fruit. Look at all the row of fruit. How are we on Stone Sword Keys? I think this is the third one. So 13, so we had 16, so we need another two. There, I just saw a row of fruit. Uh, I think it's probably, can I pick this up? Oh, nice.
Makes me understand Everjails even less, because now it's like, how do you interact with the outside world? Like, how did, like... I didn't know if we were, like, in an alternate reality or something. Everjails are weird. Alright, last weeping boss. I mean, it's a flower that is weak to fire, so I think it's gonna be alright. Yeah, let's hope we don't need to use 30 row of fruit in one fight. I actually don't know how available it is once you leave Limgrave. It's everywhere in Limgrave, but I never really pay attention to it anywhere else. I mean, Liurnia is basically a swamp, so I can't imagine there's much in the middle of Liurnia. But I guess we'll see when we get there. What a fight. All right, back to the first step. I think when we do the flail, it's gonna be so much harder because I don't think the range on that is nearly as good as this is. Although I think it has bleed. I don't think this has bleed. I can't, you know, no, I, I'm pretty sure the flail does have bleed. Yeah, now that I think about it, like you, they do bleed you, the night scouts, the flail. So the that must have bleed. That'll be nice at least. You know, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of glad. I, I don't think I've done um, a weapon from something that rides a horse yet. I think this is the first one, but I'm happy I haven't done it yet because I probably wouldn't have done this. I only decided I was going to do this like not too long ago. I don't know, maybe there was one that I did, but I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at like every single weapon I've done. I mean, this is the first knight's cavalry weapon. I haven't done Loretta's weapon. I haven't done any tree sentinel weapons. Yeah, this thing is solid. Like, this is so, actually a very good weapon. Cool moveset. And here I am just using Spinning Slash. Alright, a gear like south. I think one of the most annoying things though is that there's some fights you can do on a horse that are behind a fog gate, like this one. You have to get off the torrent to go through the fog gate and then get back on torrent. Fire Giant's another one. Like I wish you could just take torrents in through the fog gate, but maybe the reason you can't is because, you know, a lot of fights you can't use torrent for. Although I feel like anything behind a fog gate that you can't use torrent for is probably not in the open world. Right? Like, it's either in a legacy dungeon or a regular dungeon. It's, I don't know. It's weird. Only did 835? Really? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. I was going to say. That damage is actually insane. Oh, night time again. Uh, I think my game, game just crashed. Oh no, okay. It just was very stuck. <laughs> that was weird. Knight's Cavalry versus Knight's Cavalry at home. Damn, we both miss. That second hit is so strong. But the R2 and the L2 are so hard to hit. Look at that. So good. Uh oh. No! I've fallen. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Take that. It's only going to get worse as the bosses get harder, too. <laughs> That's the unfortunate thing. Merc Water Cave. Home of Patches. First home of Patches. He's got multiple homes. But this will be his first and only home. I mean, he probably grew up somewhere, to be fair. This might not be where he spent his whole childhood. That'd be a rough childhood. Just living in a cave? In this age? The age of... The Shattering. Come on. Did you see who's chess streamer of the year? I did not. Narius. Is it Narius? Probably not. I don't think Narius knows how to play chess. Too bloodthirsty. Yeah, no, I don't I don't watch the stream rewards. That just like doesn't interest me at all. Guess? Dude, I don't even know who to guess. I don't pay attention to chess. Is it someone who doesn't stream chess? Because that would be a twist. Tyler won. Tyler won won the chess streamer of the year. It's kind of funny because that's who I was going to guess. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way. Does he even play chess? You do so much more damage on a horse than you do off of it. 869 from an R2, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, come back down to the ground, buddy. Banish Knight Engval. All right, go into the first step. Tree Sentinel. Here, Torrent. Take this. You need to stay alive. Take that. Yeah, I feel like the flail run would be so much harder. <laughs> this is actually a super good weapon, I think, for uh, for horseback combat. But yeah, the uh, flail, maybe not so much. Could be wrong. Yeah, let's see. Strength is almost to 53. Tree Burial Watchdog. Yeah, we got a Bell Bearing Hunter coming up, and I'm very much not looking forward to that. Although that, again, that one's not going to be as bad as the Dragon Barrel one. So we got Kaled coming up. What other horse bosses are there? Mad Pumpkin Head Duo, you can find on a horse. We got Axe we got Grail, the Blackblade Kindred. Ugh. Another, there's two Knight's Cavalries. Commander O'Neill. Oh, I wonder if you can ride a horse in the 
Nox duo fight? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Jumped right into that one, literally. Holy delay, man. Jesus. Insane damage. Are there any? I'm trying to think if there's a Crucible Knight. Oh, Soluria, we're gonna have to do it on horse. Oof. Might not be too bad, though. DS champs you can't do on a horse. More Roa Fruit. Gotta pick it up while I still can before we leave for somewhere where there isn't any. Or there. So I have almost 60. I haven't used too much. That probably will change. Like, I'm gonna need my flasks to heal me. I don't want to have my flasks have to heal Torrin from death. That's why I want to get the Roa Resin, or whatever, Raisin. Alright, Bellberry Hunter time. This should be interesting. Maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe I'm building it up for nothing. And then the Deathbird after that. Also fought on horse. And then it gills the next horse fight. That should be fine though. I don't think the dragons are really gonna be a problem. They'll just be fought differently. Whoa, lag, Jesus Christ game. Grow a fruit, grow a fruit, any oh, no one here. Yo, Bernal, what's up? My halberd is literally in his face. So I'm probably gonna have to pull this out this guy out of the shack, because there's no way I'm fighting him in the shack on torrent. Need way more space. Although I could probably get a hit in like here. See ya. Come on. Out here. Why? Why are you like this? Whoa! It starts with that. Actually, maybe I can just, like, do this. Just keep going around him. Does this even... It hits Torrent for two damage. Wow. Uh oh. This is so awkward. Jesus Christ, man. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, the Dragon Bear one's gonna be awful. Oh, come on, really? I have to do three more of those fights, and that's probably the easiest one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, I love the, the charge attack so good. It does so much damage. It's insane. Uh oh. It's so good. It hits three times. It's crazy. Or it can hit three times. It doesn't always hit three times. Hmm, I could get the Warrior Dress Shard. Maybe I'll do that after this dungeon. Black Knife Assassin. So there's, I think, how many? I think just one that we would fight on a horse. Oh, that actually is gonna suck. So Black Knife Assassins have a, a special attack when you fight them on a horse, and they essentially just knock you off of it in one hit. That could be an issue. I think there's only one, though, in the open world. And maybe if you stay close to it, it's not so bad. Oh, I will see you. Oh. Yeah, it's really weird that they have a they have an ability that punishes you when you're on a horse. Yet, like, you can only fight, I think, one. I think there's only one you can fight on a horse. Everything else is in a dungeon. Because the Everjail ones, you can't fight on a horse. The, the Hailing Tree, the Ordna Everjails, can't fight them on a horse. Can't fight this one on a horse. Can't fight Black Knife Catacombs one on a horse. You can't fight Electo on a horse. The only one I can think of is the Sainted Hero's Grave one. So why do they have an attack that would knock you off a horse if there's only one that you can fight on a horse? The Invisible Assassin's in a dungeon. What else? You have the one in Langdell. Can't use Torrent there. So there's pretty much only one. Can you talk on a horse or no? No? Really? Is the weapon you're using need... Uh, no, I don't need to be on a horse, but the enemy that drops it is on a horse, so I'm, I decided I was going to do every fight that can be done on a horse on a horse. Oh yeah, no, I, I just fight him. Hang on. Stop talking. That. All right, we'll throw that on for Spitting Slash. What's more upsetting to people attacking him or Solaire? You know, I don't know. It's a good question. Probably Solaire. I feel like people understand that the Warrior Jar Shard is a thing, but uh, I don't know. That is a good question. I don't even know what you get from Solaire. You get a talisman, maybe? His armor? Can't see anything. I wonder if you could actually see from Limgrave, like, the hole uh, above... Oh god, I, I'm dead. Failed to quit out miserably. Double tap to start. Weapons, armor, and the satisfaction you ended Solaire. Hey, you saved him from a, an unpleasant end, you know? Didn't have his brain sucked by a sunlight maggot. Unless you kill him there, in which case, better to just end it and then to let him live. Yeah, so this hole right here is, I'm assuming, where this guy fell through, and I don't know if you can see that from up above or not. Panic roll, baby. Oh, he wasn't done. Yeah, I think if he was standing, though, he probably could have fallen through all right. Although, to be fair, that hole feels very low compared to the ground around it, so I don't know. All right, where are we going? We're going to... Gate front, gate front, gate... Groveside cave, I'm sorry. Man, now it looks like the Dragon Barrow. Just gray skies. That's pretty much it. That's the only similarity. Lost Grace. Can't level, unfortunately. 